Welcome back to this RIT1 course and the block of solar fundamental lectures. This is part two of my first block and I will mainly focus on solar time or time in solar calculations. My name is Rafael Guedes and I belong to the CSP group at KTH Energy Department. Now, when performing solar power plant design or any, any calculations regarding solar, it's important to know that there is a difference between the clock time and the solar time. And the one we use for solar power calculations is that's called solar time, which can be defined as or defines the noon or 12 as the moment when the sun is exactly due south at the local position of the observer. Whereas clock time defines noon as the moment when the sun is due south for an observer on the local standard time zone meridian. Now, the relation between these two is easy to calculate by one expression that is here shown in this slide. So solar time is just the clock time, but some uh, addition to, uh, to correction factors. One, regarding the difference between the, the actual position and the standard meridian. One, which is called the equi um, equation of time. This is what I will explain further in the next slide, but basically to, it's a correction for all the elliptical movement of the Earth. And one that is easy to understand that it's just the daylight saving time, that is when the clock is moved forward during the summer. Then uh, all the parameters to calculate them is important to know and it's are easy to know based on the location of where the, the user is and the clock time. Moving on to these correction factors independently, then it's important to know, as I said, the first correction depends on the clock time zone. So wherever you are, there is a, a clock time and a, uh, and a solar local time, and the clock time will depend on the meridians or longitudes. So it's important to know for this location, which is the, meri the reference meridian used for clock calculations. And here you can see how for Central Eastern Europe, for instance, we have one which is different for that one in the UK and so on. Then the correction of equation of time is basically due to the elliptical natu nature of the Earth's um, orbit and the, the speed of rotation around the sun is not constant, but it varies throughout the year. And then to, 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 uh, to correct this factor, then basically uh, we can see from uh, in, this in this figure and also um, the, its correlation in the equation of time calculation, how for every day, we can estimate the actual correction factor based on some coefficients that are here depicted and that we measure uh, empirically. The last correction factor to, to take into account is the daylight saving time. And the daylight saving time is the practice that we have that during summer we advance clocks so that evenings have more daylight and mornings have less. And this means that solar time is one hour behind the clock during uh, daylight saving time. This is not used throughout all the world, but it's important to know if you're performing calculations, whereas if it's summer and if this is applicable. So here in this figure, you can see where is it used, where was it used before, and where it has never been used. Important to notice that big part of the Western world and uh, where some of the solar calculations are performed do use daily savings time. Now to put this into practice, we can have a very simple example uh, and in which by knowing the clock time, then we are asked what's the solar time. So if it is 15.45 on the clock in Stockholm, and then that means that we can get access to the actual location of Stockholm on the 26th of July, which can correlate to a specific day of the year, then what is the local solar time? So the first thing to, know, to note is that which is the actual standard time zone meridian for Stockholm. And you will notice that Stockholm uses Central European time if you, go if you search for it which means then uh, the, the standard time zone meridian is 15 degrees east. Also, the, qu the, the question here is to perform for a day in the summer. So daily savings time is effect in summer. But so the first thing is to, we need to calculate these correction factors. So the first correction factor and the easiest to calculate is the equation of time, which is just replacing the coefficients and, and for the specific day 207. And that will yield a difference of minus 6.5 minutes. Then the daily saving time, which is minus one hour, because we are behind the clock. And the last correction is just uh, between the actual longitude and the, and the standard meridian used for the time, which is important to notice again that it's made on the west. So that's why the minus here on both minus 15 and minus 18. With this correction factors, by replacing them, in, then we just are able to calculate that the solar time for that specific clock time on that day in Stockholm is 1450. So we are more than one hour behind when it compares to clock time. So this was the last part of the solar fundamentals concerning time in solar calculations. My colleague, Lucas Zagmeyer, will continue in solar fundamentals talking about the, how to position the sun 
and uh, some important notice when it comes to solar radiation on flat surfaces. Thank you.